morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Bushcraft Outback. I'm at another state park, eastern part of Virginia, camping out, having fun, doing a little bushcraft, decided to do a video. Most recently, I just bought a tank of a knife called the SE5. And the reason why I bought it is because, well, it's a tank of a knife and uh, it is nice. It's not a review, but I wanted something that was beefy that I could baton through some wood and this knife does the trick. But it's also made of 1095 steel and 1095 steel has been known to throw a spark. So uh, one of the things I've discovered over time is it doesn't take 1095 steel to throw a spark off a ferro rod, which we're going to do in a minute and light some jute string with a little piece of char cloth in it. But some of these knives have significant meaning to me. Uh, this one here was given to me by my wife. and uh, But I have one on my side that was given to me by a dear friend. His name was Kevin. And this knife is Damascus steel. And I'll never part with this thing, but it's a handsome knife. And uh, we're gonna use it today to try to throw a spark into this tender bundle. But before I do that, I wanted to show you that these knives all have something in common that I'm gonna share with, with you at the end and the reason why they'll throw a spark. Now, I could pull each one of these out and show you that it'll throw a spark. And this one, I'm not sure what, if it's 1095 steel but it obviously throws a spark. And we know the 1095 steel will throw a spark, but did you know even a rock, just an ordinary rock will throw a spark. So what do all these have in common? They have a sharp spine. So make sure before you take your knives out in the woods, you sharpen the spine on them and they'll do the job for you. I've even seen somebody do this out of a piece of glass. So if you want to get a spark, you don't necessarily have to have 1095 steel, um, but you have to have a sharp spine. So uh, make sure you get your knives out, sharpen those spines up, and uh, uh, you'll be able to get a spark. To light your favorite tender bundle up, and we're gonna do this later on with my grandson. I'm gonna get him to practice a little bit and see if he can throw a spark into a piece of char cloth and get a little flame going, pass that torch on to the next generation. But um, Kevin, thanks for the knife. I appreciate it, buddy. I know we don't get to talk much, but I promise you we'll be together soon. Let's see what we can do. What do you know? Damascus steel works too. There we go. Now prepared to ground back here behind me. I am in the state park, but I kicked all the leaves away because I knew I was going to do this little demonstration just to be able to demonstrate how to light a tender bundle up. But uh, remember, it doesn't take a special kind of steel. It just takes a sharp spine. And how you do that is take that and lay it on a piece of wood as square as you can get and take a file and run across the top just to sharpen up the edges of your knife and get that nice crisp edge. This one has a little bit of a serrated blade, but I use the part that's back here. And even if it's got a burr on the side of it, don't pay any attention to that. You have to have something to scrape that spark off this knife into a tender bundle and get it going. So I also had one that was given to my brother, my, by my brother, and uh, didn't bring it along on this, sorry, Bill. Um, but it's again different steel, but uh, still has a sharp spine on it, still able to show up, throw a spark into a tender bundle. So, uh, you know, I've been given a lot of knives by a lot of different people, and uh, uh, those are one of the things I hold sacred to me. I don't think I'd part with them, but uh, 
Yeah, so when you get your knives out this year and you're getting ready to go out of camping, um, make sure you get that file out and get a nice 90 degree spine on that knife and I promise you she'll throw a spark. And if not, you can always find a rock. Till the next video, make sure you keep God first. Wait, that's glowing, right? Right there? It is. It is. Good eye. So pick that out. Now, blow on it. Get it glowing. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Until it gets a little larger. Keep blowing. There you go. Let it get big. All right. Now you can put it down inside your tender bundle. Pull that tender bundle right up around it and keep blowing until that thing pops into flame there you go keep blowing until she pops into flame curl right around it a little bit like that squeeze it it's not gonna burn you Pull it up really close. You can always drop it down to the ground after you're done. Once it gets into flame, keep going. Now, you can always lay another piece right on top of it. And you can keep going. Beautiful. Awesome job.